much. Hey, here's a look at the state's travel status map. There are a lot of counties under a travel watch there, which is shown in orange. Hamilton, Johnson, and many counties in the south are included in that. That means essential travel only, such as to and from work is recommended. Other counties are under a travel advisory that's shown in yellow, and that is the lowest level. Means if you have to be out on the roads, you should just drive slowly, use caution. Well, the winter weather is causing headaches for Hoosiers across the state. 24 Hour News 8's Tim McNicholas has been moving all over the area today. He is live out on the roads right now. So, Tim, uh, where are you at and what are you seeing? Brooke, I'm on the east side right now, driving down 38th Street, riding down 38th Street, I should say. Our photographer Ron is driving. Uh, we just passed Sherman. I'll show you the roads here. Pretty slushy. Everyone's driving pretty carefully, pretty slow. That's a good thing because state police say they have responded to more than 170 crashes across the state today, most of them weather related. 41 of those crashes resulted in injuries, and the roads are not the only problem. The snow and ice are no easy opponents. They'll beat you up and they'll take your breath away. You know, but we didn't think it was going to last that, you know, as long as it has. But this maintenance team has a plan. Just keep fighting. The snowblowers really don't cut it. I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of like we're just going to have to keep going back over and over until we get it all. Derek Gale says his team will be revisiting every property they clean up today because he knows the winter weather isn't done wreaking havoc, and not just on sidewalks. INDOT says their salt will be less effective as the temperatures drop. Their advice, drive careful, and in rural areas, be wary of blowing and drifting. Ruth Sherlock says she'll be taking her time on the roads, but she knows the drill. It's not that bad. Now, y'all should have been out here when it was. What? Two below. Yeah. I was off. <laughs> State police say they responded to more than 140 slide offs today. They assisted more than 170 drivers, many who got stuck or had their cars break down. Mo Salama didn't need state police. He didn't even use a snow scraper or pants. Toughing it out in the shorts today. Yes, I know. I was actually <laughs> relaxing, and he said he wanted to go home, so yeah. I was like, I'll help you out. Certainly hope he is bundled up by now. Uh, back out here live on 38th Street. Want to show you the roads just one more time before we toss it back to the studio. You can see it's pretty slushy. Not a whole lot of folks out on the roads. Uh, more than we saw earlier in the noon hour when we did a couple live hits then. Uh, people coming home from work, obviously, we're going to see some more traffic. INDOT says they have more than 120 trucks out on the roads today. So live on the east side, I'm Tim McNicholas, 24-Hour News 8. All right, Tim, stay safe out there. Tim mentioned it's like roads uh, around the state. A couple of slide offs today on I-70 in Putnam County near the Cloverdale exit. One involved a jackknifed tractor trailer and a couple of cars. State police in that area report more than 10 slide offs, but thankfully no serious injuries. Another slide off, uh, this one in southern Indiana, I-65 in Jackson County, about five miles north of Seymour. State police down there say most of the slide off they've seen uh, have been north of Seymour.